have that one in your home. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I hope you can you can see it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I hope you can see it. Amen. 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 So you will take it to your friends, your relatives, minister to the sick, give it to yourself. Amen. And the Lord will work for you. Amen. Our leading today is coming from the book of Second Kings. Second Kings chapter 4. After Second Kings chapter 4, I lead from this eight, the word of the Lord it say. Now it happened on the day that Elisha went to Sunem, where there was a notable woman, and she persuaded him to eat some food. So it was as Often as he passes by, he would tell him they are to eat some food this night. And she said to her husband, Look now, Ashes. look now, I know that this is a holy man. Say, Never. Never. I know now. I this, is a holy man. this is a holy man. Amen. Amen. Who passes by us regularly? Ten. Please let us make a small upper room on the wall and let us put a bed for him there and a table and a chair and a lamp stand so it will be when he comes to us he can turn in there hallelujah Amen. this is a woman who saw a man passing by frequently now as the man was passing he did not know who he is He just said, this person passes by frequently. Yeah. What should I do? I must give him food. Whenever he passes here, this man must eat. So he called the prophet without knowing. Come, pass by. Have some food. So he said, regularly as he passes, he was passing by that house. To the level whereby the woman was like, mm, the man I have been given food is not a mere man. He's a holy man of God. Amen. What should I do? Let me talk to my husband. We prepare a place for him. And some other version said, the upper room. So the room was not there. They said, let's make the loom for him. We are not making it aside. This was a rich person. Said, let this man be above us. <laughs> Whenever he is seated, he must sit above us. Whenever he is sleeping, he must sleep above us. Because he is not just a man. He is a holy man. So he's talking to the husband. What a great man. If it was today, you would have said, if you are the one, why your wife is loving the man of God more than you? It's your boyfriend. You start fighting. Men of today learn from this man. Amen. Amen. When he hear that, oh, the man that we have been giving food is a holy man of God, let's make a look for him. The man accepted and they start building the loop for him. How do you receive the good 
news as a family how does the good news inspires your house this woman noted that I have to share the food to this man because he passes frequently how many people have you supported without them asking for help How many? Do we have people here Amen. that have support others without them requesting for help? You just help them. Let me see. Amen? Amen. Are you sure? Yes. God bless you. Amen. How many you have helped the man of God, not a time, but just to help without a request? How many? Not only me, men, men of God or women of God. Amen. 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 God bless you. I think we have a lot of people to learn today. Amen. Amen. The man accepted the good news. This is after a period of time they noted that this one is not a normal man. There are some other times it will not be easy for you to discover the glory of God. But continue doing what is right in the eyes of the Lord. Amen. After the commitment, now a revelation is coming. Say never. never. Commit yourself first. Then the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will speak to you. Speak to you. Amen? Amen? You want to be a preacher of the gospel? Have you given your sacrifice? Have you given your body as a sacrifice? Have you given your life as a sacrifice? Have you gone into fasting only for the preaching of the gospel? What have you lost for Christ? The woman, after committing herself, now you say, uh uh, just giving food is not enough. There must be another level of doing this great work. I am changing to another level. Amen. Say, neighbor. neighbor. When you are with Christ, Christ. don't. Ah, what can we do? 
for this woman. Amen? What can we do? So they had nothing to do because the woman was already rich. Had everything already. She was not just a person. Amen? She was rich. Say never. You have to be rich. Amen? You have to be rich so that you can build the kingdom of God. Amen? So when you are taking your greatness, you are taking your blessing, you have to know it's for the glory of God, Amen. it is for the kingdom of God. Amen. The, the, the prophet was confused. Money is already there. House is already there. What should we do? They are thinking. It was not a liberation. It was a thought. It was a concern. Whenever you touch the heart of God, Christ is concerned about your life. Amen. Say, Neva. Yeah. Whenever yeah. you are yeah. committed yourself to God, Jesus is concerned about your life. The woman, she did not give this room because she wanted a child. Even to the level when she was asked for a child, the woman refused. Ah, I don't want the child. Ah, man of God, hey, hey, so on and so on and so on. And so on. Don't tempt me. I don't need a child. I don't think it is the right time for me. I think I am okay the way I am. That means when she was doing this school, she had no any sound of her good works. Amen. Many today, they are giving to God in churches. The man of God must see. Amen. I want Papa must know that yes, I am here. Amen. Amen. You see this offering basket? Hallelujah. Camera I put aside. Hallelujah. What is in here if we count it? Hallelujah. Not three. Amen? If I put it aside and say, let's do it again, we can make a thousand. Amen. Are you agreeing? Yes. Where will the money come from? Same <laughs> okay. Because the prophet has spoken. Amen. Can't you touch God in your own way without the direction of the prophet? You want to give because you want to be favored? You want to be honored? You need a position? Hey, here we don't give you position because of your well-doing. Amen? Amen? Because Christ has led us. Hallelujah, Amen. So it comes to the level whereby when you are giving to the Lord, now you look onto your problem. Yes. Oh, you know why? Sometimes you're failing to receive. Because when they say it's church building, you are saying, this, this money I am giving. I want it this year. God to give me the ability to build my own house. When that year you will not build your house, next time church building you will not support again. Bad intentions. was just doing because it was in her heart. Say never. never. You have to develop the heart like a Shunammite woman. When, say never. When you are doing good for God, don't wait. God to pay you back. Say never. You cannot buy the spirit of God. You cannot buy marriage. That's fornication. You 
because it's in my heart. It's in my heart. Amen? Let me tell you, when I was in Uganda, I, I saw people seated, seated. Then the first team, they are singing the nice song that you can dance. And I was also seated as a big boy. Amen? I was seated. Amen? When I was seated, I'm like, what am I doing? Okay? I have to stand here and start dancing. So that also my people must dance. So while I was seated, I just saw someone coming. 